Hey y'all and welcome or welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be filming a journaling tips slash journaling routine video. I am so excited to film this because basically over quarantine, I have really gotten into journaling and pretty much since December, I've been doing it every single day. I think it's really helped me not only like get to know myself better and be more like self-aware, but it's also just been like really fun to like look back on. And I'm someone who has a really bad memory, so journaling honestly kind of ingrains things in my memory more, just like physically writing things down. Just being able to have like that physical written record that you wrote yourself and being able to like look back and see kind of different phases and stages in your life. And I personally think that it's just so interesting. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first I'm gonna get into how I personally journal and give you guys some ideas for prompts and everything like that. So to me, journaling is just this amazing tool that really just helps like unlock my creativity and just like get me ready for the day. It also really helps me to kind of like work through like issues or problems I may be having. On some days, I will literally just sit down and I have a lot of things on my mind. I'm feeling really stressed and feeling overwhelmed. And on those days, I'd like to write mind dump on the top of my page. You set a timer for about three to five minutes, sometimes even more, depending on kind of your time constraints and how much is on your mind, really. You just write freely. I just kind of like, what's the first thing that comes to my mind? I'm feeling really stressed about X, Y, and Z, and blah, 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 blah. I'm, sometimes I'll even write like, literally anything comes to my head. I'm super hungry right now. I'm really craving some oatmeal. And at the end, I'll kind of like assess my list. So sometimes I just need to get things off my chest and straight to my journal. And on those days, I don't really reread my mind dumps. I just kind of like let myself like forget about them. But then on other days, I'll kind of be more analytical with them. And I'll kind of pick some that are like focused on like specific issues. And I'll think, okay, what's a solution that I could kind of do to solve this? Is this a problem I can control or should I just try to forget it because I can't control the outcome and I'm just going to try to live and let live, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I try to do my nems a few times a week. There is a period of time where I was doing them every single day and honestly, I think I need to start doing them more often because especially with school starting and everything being so busy, I honestly have a big need for my nems right now so I honestly need to go do one. So that totally reminded me and motivated me to do one. My journaling style used to be very prompt centric. So basically every single day I pick a prompt and I can put some Instagram names on the screen that have really good prompts or you could just look some up on Pinterest. Prompts are great when you're beginning journaling. And I kind of go through phases where I'm like really, really into using prompts and they're really good for self-discovery, self-development, all of that. And then I kind of started getting into mind dumps and doing my own kind of style of journaling. And that's kind of where I'm at now. Yeah, now I'm kind of journaling more from my own mind, kind of creating my own prompts. Every single day I will get my self-care kind of journal. In the mornings I'll fill out like things like the day, my intention for the day. It's like a little note section. And in that section I'll kind of like write either what I did last night or how I felt when I woke up a section that says like other notes and I just use that to make a big gratitude list and then I finish filling out the rest of the information at night so I like to journal two times a day once in the morning once at night and then I'll put that journal aside I'd like to grab my main journal I'll just kind of like write what would make today great I'll kind of look at my intention and I'll kind of make like three ish goals for myself that will help myself to reach my intention so for example if my goal was to have like high vibrations and be very like be like super positive maybe i will write for my goals all right i will give three compliments i will be very welcoming and warm to people today i will talk to someone that maybe i wouldn't usually to kind of like help spread that positive energy you know what i mean then that's pretty much it that's a very like short version of my journaling and it usually takes me less than 10 minutes because in the mornings i have very limited amount of time so i just like to do something quick simple and it really just helps me stay focused on my goals throughout the rest of the day because 
feel like if I really have no goals for the day, I kind of like go to school and I kind of feel like a zombie in a sense where I'm just kind of like getting through my day and don't get me wrong, I have days like that where all I can do is just get through it and that's what I make my intention. I'm like, today I'm just going to get through the day and I'll make my goals things about giving myself grace and giving other people grace and just kind of accepting the state of things how they are, not trying to change things, things like that. And then at night in the self-care journal, I'll fill things out like, I think there's a thing like what was fun today and there's another section where it was like what was hard or stressful, kind things I did for myself, so I'll fill those sections out. I'll go back into my main journal, right? What went well today? I'll list some things. What could I improve on? I'll list some things. If there was like a big issue or problem or something happened, again, I'll do a mind dump. I usually do my mind dumps more at night. It really just helps me like relieve my mind of things that are just weighing on me. Free up mental real estate so I can focus on things that are actually like important and worth my time and not like issues and things that I really can't control. The first tip I have for you guys is to start off very simple. So I know a lot of people, myself included, kind of like to jump into things right away and just kind of like go all out. If you're like, okay, I'm gonna set this goal to journal for like 30 minutes every day. And at first that's really just not gonna be attainable and you're just gonna be disappointed because you're gonna be like, I can't even do this. My tip is again, just to grab your phone, pull up a timer and just start journaling for only five minutes. If at that point you have no more time, you have to like go on with your day, go on with your day and be like, you know what? I did five minutes of journaling and that's great. It's a day like a weekend day where you have a little more free time. Maybe you can play around with doing 10 minutes and each day you can try to extend it maybe like 30 seconds more or just a little bit more, just a little bit more. But yeah, just starting off with that baseline is gonna have a big impact on your day, I promise you. Literally all you need is just a plain notebook and a pen. I found a random notebook from my house, just like one of like the spiral bound notebooks and a pen from our junk drawer and I just pulled them out one day and just started using it to journal. I would say also just kind of like figure out what works for you. If you like a smaller journal or if you like to write with a bunch of fun pens and kind of like switch it up and make it more visually pleasing. Whatever you want to do, just kind of like add it in to like kind of make it more fun and spice it up. So my last tip is to make journaling a habit. And in order to make it a habit, make it something fun, something you're excited to do, something that when you are going to bed at night, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to go and journal tomorrow. Or when you're waking up, you think you're thinking about journaling, etc, etc. And obviously I know, you're literally just putting pen to paper. It's not that crazy. But you can definitely make it a lot more fun if you are doing things like I do, like I like scented candles. Or I like to play the Spotify peaceful meditation music in the background. And I feel like that's just creating a very peaceful environment. I do my journaling in the same spot every single day in a very quiet kind of room that's kind of closed off from the rest of the house. I know that everyone may not have access to like their own little special space, but even if it's just like in your bed, some kind of space where you can journal and maybe I'll get like a blanket or something and like get all cozy and like start journaling and it just really makes it fun and just makes it a very like very relaxing kind of like self-care experience and I feel like it just really starts my mornings off right. Even if you're kind of feeling unsure about it, kind of just go and start and once you start you're gonna find like the words are kind of like flowing out of you it's a great feeling all right guys so that was my journaling routine and my journaling tips i really hope it inspired you guys to start journaling grab your notebook grab a pen and just get to it take action go after it seriously just start right now guys by writing mind up at the top of your page set the timer for five minutes and go and i will see you all in the next one Bye!